Hello, I am Posha Dere from Ghana, representing the University of Delaware. And today, I shall be focusing on the theme opportunity, the power of the internet. Can you imagine if there was no internet? In this era of the world, what would happen? Let me demonstrate how. And most majority of you are Mandela Washington fellows. You would have written a long letter like this and folded it neatly in an envelope for posting. But just imagine, what if the postmaster had a quarrel with his wife? And on his way to work, he drops your letter like this? Scary, right? I once was a caterpillar. And eventually, I became a beautiful butterfly with a strong will to help others. But this hasn't always been my story. When I was 10 years old, my father passed away. And apart from the emotional challenge, I was faced with one critical problem. That was poverty. And as a child, I watched my mother use all her savings to put me through school. Eventually, when I was in the university, Instead of focusing on my potential, every night I went to sleep with fear and I woke up with renewed fear. And this fear was genuine because I was wondering what will happen after school. Because I knew, in fact, that I had no father or anybody to look for school for me. But in 2012, something drastic happened. My uncle bought me a smartphone. And that was the beginning of great things. One day as I was um, going through the internet, I came across a conference opportunity which advertised for applicants. And I applied on the team Social Entrepreneur. As I got to this conference with other 100 um, African young leaders, something strange happened. I saw, I saw young people just exactly my age or younger than me who had so many beautiful stories of what they were doing. They had built schools, they were helping women, and so on. And at that moment, I was so ashamed and I was afraid. I thought to myself, I equally had potential like all these young people. Why was I complaining? Why had I wasted my four years in school with fear? And right then and then, I promised myself that in the next two years, I was going to change my story, that I too would have beautiful stories to tell people and that when I googled my name Portia Derry, I would find amazing stories about myself. So in two years time, I created my organization called the African Youth Writers Organization with the strong will to make sure that children do not end up like me, that unlike me, they do not have to wait for so many years to find their potential, in making sure that we have a platform where children are free to express their potential. And now, I use this internet to make sure that I have lots of young people from Ghana who are passionate about literacy issues and in promoting literacy. But this presentation is not just about me. It's about other stories, such as Vieta from Nigeria, who, due to the careless mistake of a doctor, lost her voice. But she has been able to use the internet to empower other people. It's also about people like Agnes, who herself, having, despite having a hearing disability, has been able to use the internet to empower more voiceless people. It's also about people like Bintu, who, being a champion from Africa, true girls develop it, which is teaching women to develop software and coding. But why is the internet powerful? Why, one would ask. The internet is powerful because the internet do not discriminate between the rich and the poor. The internet does not care whether you are rich or poor, it gives you the same amount of information. The internet does not take bribe. So when you sit behind your laptop, you sit behind your phone, whatever information you want, the internet is not going to ask you for anything. It's simply going to give you the same amount of information. Above all, the internet levels the playing ground. The internet does not care whether you're president of America 
or you are a farmer or a hunter from the Sahara forest, the internet simply gives you the same amount of information. What I want to ask is that, how do you use the internet? Do you know you could use the internet to empower people to change people's life? Fast forward from now, when you go back to your room, think deeply about how you use the internet. Know that whatever you do, you have the power to change the world. Thank you.